What's going on YouTube? I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to resolve issues between your .txtr file and your .dds file. Uh, if the format, the formatting of them do not align, you are going to run into various issues with your game crashing, okay? And before I jump into the backstory of how we got to this video, I just wanna say if the video is too long for you guys, YouTube has options to speed up the video. If you didn't know that, they've been having that for a few years now. So, there's your username, Petri Dish 86 made a rebrand with jerseys, courts, and logos for Oklahoma City Thunder. He was experiencing crashing in the game, and I always tell people, there could be so many things crashing the game. Now, luckily for me, he knew that it had to be one of his modded files that he just created, either the court logos or jerseys, that was crashing the game. So on my screen here, I'm just showing you guys some of his work. Big shout out to him. This is great, glorious looking work. Uh, he sent me the files. He explained, okay, he's able to see the logos in game. He's able to get the court in game and see it. But whenever he goes to play now and tries to play with the team, it crashes. And I was saying, okay, if you can see the logos and you can see the court, then the issue is most likely the jerseys. He sent me over the jerseys. And what we found was... Like, yeah, I think he just basically tried to copy the same format as the original files, but 2K saves their files in a certain way where it doesn't crash your game. But if we try to replicate that with the tools we have available, open and free without knowing the tools 2K actually uses, it crashes the game. We had to get rid of this one, two, three, four, these first four lines from each dot texture file. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do here today. If you guys wanted to see me go through the full process in real time, it took me about 20 minutes to figure out um, how to get the jerseys to show up in game correctly because I was moving files, but it just continued to crash. If you want the full, the realistic real time view of what I did, you can watch this live stream. It's called NBA 2K23 PC dash fixing jersey mods that crashed the game live. All right, so really quickly, here's the finished version of the jersey that we're going to fix today in game. Big shout out to Petri Dish 86 for sending me this. But uh, it was, this was created by him. Um, we're going to fix this jersey. So the first thing I did, I deleted the jersey from my mods folder. So let's see if I go to another player. All right, I'm, I'm going off of the jersey and then I'm going to try to go back to the home jersey. All right, so now it swaps over to the unmodded version of the jersey because I actually deleted the modded version of the jersey while I was making this video so I can show you. Okay, this is how the jersey starts. You need to know the name of this jersey file. If you want to know how to find the names of files, uh, just put down in the comment section and that you want to learn how to find those. All right, there we go. And then you can see this is the edited version that Petri Dish create it but if i try to use this in game this is actually going to crash the game down here in the left hand corner it says the format is dxt1 and i'll show you something when i go to this is the corresponding dot txtr or dot texture file that goes with this dds when i click on that i'm gonna click f oops gonna click f3 to bring it up it it you can see inside of it it calls on this jersey this jersey dds texture that one right there so this is what the game looks at the game reads this and says okay show this texture for okc's home jersey all right the issue is the format that i showed you guys the format the compression format is dxt1 down here and then here the format is BC1. So what I tend to do is I open this dot texture file up in Notepad++. I could try to edit it here in Notepad, but it's gonna yield very bad results for me. So I'll show you real quick. I open it up in Notepad++, has all the same info. If you click on the number to the left, uh, it'll select the whole row for you. So I usually get rid of the format 
the mips, the height and the width, because if you don't get rid of those, then the game is basically going to expect your file that you modded to have these exact parameters. So I get rid of those. So the game doesn't care about those parameters. You can make your texture smaller, bigger, less maps, more, whatever, any format. So just press backspace. Those are gone. And then you would save the file. Now, once you save the file, which I've already done, it'll, it'll look like this. Uh, and you, you need to save it to like your desktop or something. Like, so I would first, before putting this in Notepad++, I would drag this to my desktop and I'll show you. I actually already have it on my desktop right here. I would drag it to my desktop, open it in Notepad++, delete what I need to delete, and then drag it into the .if file, okay? Once you drag, but I had to, I had to do that erasing the parameters for all of the .txtr files. I did that for all of them. Okay, so I'll show you. I've got like six files over here that I did that for. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to grab all of those. I remove those extra parameters, grabbing all of those, highlight them, then drag them into the if file using the 7-zip program. Or at least that's how I do it. There could be many ways to do this, but I'm just showing you guys how I do it. Once you drag it in there, all you have to do now is take, uh, you just, hold on. I just don't want you guys. Uh, well, anyway, all you have to do is take this if file and drag it over to your mods folder. And I'll show you real quick my mods folder. I have a mods folder right here that is specifically for fictional jerseys. And then I just, I can drag this uh, .if file into that mod folder, and then I go in game. I can take this off. I go in game, I go to mods, uh, resources. I make sure that mod folder is actually enabled. So it is, my mods jersey fictional folder is enabled. So now when I go away from this jersey, it's not the home jersey is not going to look like this anymore. So let's go to the away jersey, go back to the home jersey. Ah, it's fixed and it doesn't crash the game all because I got rid of those extra parameters. All right. Great work by Petri Dish 86. Big shout out to everybody who's doing this stuff, following the videos, following the channels, making their own videos, coming up with their own content, everything. All right. I am the goods. Thank you guys for checking me out. Uh, if you want to become a member of the Patreon link down in the video description, I'm gone.